The vaccine's flown again in Florida. The delayed shipments from last week have arrived in many places, opening up appointments again tomorrow. And in just more than a week, even more shots will be going out as four new federally supported sites, including one here in Tampa, will open across the state. And they could be available to more than just seniors and healthcare workers. Thank you so much for joining us on Nightside. I'm Carolina Lead. And I'm Ryan Bass, Governor Ron DeSantis, hinting that once that Tampa site opens, they'll be able to let some teachers and officers roll up their sleeves. Some police and fire departments have already started vaccinations. Teachers, though, they haven't been mentioned until now. 10 Tampa Bay's Angelina Salcedo spoke with a Hillsborough County teacher who says this is way overdue. For some, peace of mind comes in a small vial. Especially for some of us that were e-learning originally and came back to the building, there's definitely a heightened sense of worry. Spanish teacher Carolina Pleste taught from home months ago after fighting her own COVID-19 battle. Now recovered, she's back in the classroom. Don't think it's really safe, but it is good seeing the kids again. Even with students six feet apart, masks and hand sanitizer, she still feels vulnerable. Plus, did one of many teachers waiting to get a shot of immunity. I had assumed that teachers would be next in the line. You know, we're also considered frontline heroes as well. For months, Florida's vaccine rollout has focused on seniors. Teachers have not been prioritized in Florida. But federal vaccine sites opening next week could change that. We also want that to be open. Any sworn law enforcement teacher I think we'll start age 50 or above. Governor Ron DeSantis says federally added doses allow the state to branch out to different groups. We're going to start for sure on these federally supported sites. As new vaccine comes online, then we'll see what happens. I think this may be long overdue. Epidemiologist Dr. Jill Roberts says anyone at high risk should have been eligible. We're talking about high risk and people who really truly have no choice but to be out there doing their jobs. And so I think they fall under that essential workers category and that you shouldn't be considering the age at all. Now, last week, President Joe Biden said teachers should move up in priority for getting the vaccines. We'll let you know as soon as Governor DeSantis makes his vaccination plans official. Again, they're going to apply to these four federal sites. Tampa site, by the way, is on Waters Avenue, and that is expected to open next week. So why is the governor settling on 50 and older? Well, taking a deeper dive into the state's COVID deaths by age versus our population, look at the jump from 45 to 54 and into the upper 50s and 60s. The fatality rate nearly triples from COVID from 3.7 to 10.6 percent. 94 percent of those lives lost in Florida this virus have been 55 or older.